Florida may be the national champs, but is their reputation taking a hit? The Orlando Sentinel detailed some of the reported 24 arrests since Urban Meyer took over in 2005. Now, the 24-player number has varied by reports, but Meyer released this statement on the arrests. According to him, this group of players we have now are, by and large, a pretty good group. They are 18 to 22 years old, and like most young people, they're trying to find their way. It is a continual part of our program to mentor and guide our players, and it is not an exact process. Although we have been very successful with most, we are by no means perfect. We are disappointed when we encounter some issues along the way, but we are going to continue to educate and teach players. Officials from the University of Florida talked to College Football Live and gave us this information on the reported 24-player arrests. Only three arrests from the last three recruiting classes, including 2009. At least eight cases resulted in charges being dropped. Fourteen of the 24 incidents involved players Meyer didn't recruit or were in his first recruiting class. And, Joe, you cover the Gators during your time with the Orlando Sentinel. What are you hearing right now? Well, Urban Meyer acknowledged that the guys in his first recruiting class were weren't up to par as far as the kind of character that he wanted to bring in. But as indicated by those statistics, some people are also pointing some of the blame towards former Florida coach Ron Zook. Now, I did speak with the Gainesville police spokesman Keith Kamig today. He told me that, in his opinion, the culture of player behavior has improved under Meyer. Kamig said that players are in bad situations less often than ever, traveling in large groups less often than ever, and that the players are being encouraged by Meyer to establish relationships with players and actually go on squad car ride-alongs. ESPN the Magazine's Bruce Feldman now joins us. Bruce, 24 arrests for Florida in the same span of time. Florida State had 13. Miami had only two. What can Florida learn from a team like Miami? Kevin, I think an important distinction has to be made here. My, Miami's old image really has more to do with its, its on-field antics and the fatigues and the Cotton Bowl romp over Texas, and they tightened it up in the last decade, and, and people have noticed. And that story that started coming out a few weeks ago about the comparison between Miami and UF, well, right after that, a Florida cornerback, Janoris Jenkins, gets in trouble. And what has to happen now is Randy Shannon has been very clear. There's a zero-tolerance policy. You cannot put our program in a negative light. And I think Urban Meyer needs to come down even harder on these guys who ever get into any trouble now. 